Hi, Courtney. My name's Kevin. Hi, Kevin. How are you today? Great. How are you? Good. So I hear uh, you need some boots for your Knowles course? I do. Okay, great. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to try a variety of boots on today to find the right fit for your foot. Okay, the three things I want you to focus on when you're trying on boots is the first thing is the boot should feel comfortable. If it doesn't feel comfortable now, it's not going to feel comfortable in a couple of days. If the boot is comfortable, what I want you to do is lace it up, walk around it, and think about how much heel lift you're getting in the boot itself. Ideally, what you want is about a quarter of an inch heel lift when you're walking forward. So that means that that heel's coming up off the boot just a little bit. No heel lift isn't good because if you think about the natural way of walking, that Achilles tendon has to go up and down. So if you're struggling doing that, what happens is you can get inflammation in the tendon itself. Conversely, if you get a lot of up and down, you'll get heat and friction and you'll get blisters, okay? So very minimal heel lift. Third thing I'll have you do then is to kick this wooden post behind me three times in a row. And what should happen is your foot's gonna slide up, slide up again. The third time you want your toes to hit the end of the boot. And what we're doing there is simulating walking downhill. You wanna make sure your boots aren't too short for you, okay? So why don't you go ahead and lace that up. When you're lacing your boot, it should be snug and not over tight. Over tight boots will give you problems in the field because during the day your feet tend to swell and so if your boots are totally cranked down, your feet have nowhere to expand to. So snug but not over tight. You feeling like you have a little room in your toe box area there? Mm -hmm. Toes aren't touching the end, that's great. Okay, so why don't you go ahead and just take those for a little test drive. And then one thing that we'll do is once we determine what boot fits you the best, we'll actually put it onto our boot press over here. And our boot press, what this does, it mechanically helps the boot to get broken in. So we'll actually work the leather of that whole boot in and out, and uh, it really helps with the break-in period. So uh, Courtney, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put some uh, shoe stretch on your boots. And the shoe stretch is actually water, alcohol, and glycerin. So we spread this on the boot and that helps to penetrate the leather a little bit. Once we put the boot on the boot press, what we're gonna do is kind of work the boot all the way around the boot press itself to start uh, softening up the leather itself. We've had this boot press probably since the early 80s. And the initial concept of this boot press was actually press out one specific area of the boot. So usually some people would have some problems with bunions or whatever, and there was one specific place they were having pressure. So we would just work on that area. So over the years, I developed the concept that was like, why are we just doing one part of the boot? Let's do the whole boot. And it certainly has helped with the break-in period. We have a long experience here with fitting boots with students. We have an expert staff here, and we have uh, a really high success rate as far as students being happy with their footwear once they come back from their course. So if you're not sure what to do, I would recommend getting your boots from us. We're really invested in our students because we know we're gonna see them after 30 days and we wanna see them smiling, I'm not saying my boots didn't work for us. So that's why basically we keep to the three simple things as far as comfort, heel lift, and toes hitting on three.